All right, in 1002.3, we look at prohibited traps. These are the traps that you should not ever install. And there's two reasons that these are not allowed. One reason is because they don't work. That means they get siphoned out, they don't create a trap, a seal, and they allow sewer gases to come through. That's a bad thing. The other reason is that they get clogged really easy. Some of these designs are terrible. They clog all the time and that's why they got thrown out. Let's have a look. Prohibited trap number one. Traps that depend on moving parts to maintain the seal. This design used a floating ball that would go up as liquid moved through and sink down and create a seal when the liquid was gone. This was in the early stages of plumbing. Clearly something that could be clogged easily. So this one's out. Prohibited trap number two, the bell trap. This trap is created by extending the pipe up to the floor drain. You can see there's a strainer on the top with a bell shaped piece underneath. The bell would come down over the pipe, creating a slight overlap that would form a trap. However, these have a very minimal trap depth. They would evaporate quickly and very much stunk. They're out. Prohibited trap number three, traps that are crown vented. You can see the trap here. You can see a vent coming off. It's called a crown vent because it comes off the top of the pipe right after the trap. The problem with these is that as the fluid is moving through the trap, it gains some upward momentum and can actually go in and clog the vent. So the vent becomes obsolete. Crown venting is discussed in chapter nine and you can have a crown vent, but it has to be downstream by two pipe diameters. Little side note there. But crown vents like this one, they're out. Prohibited trap number four. Traps not integral with a fixture that depend on interior partitions for the seal, except for those traps constructed of an approved material that is resistant to corrosion and degradation. Look at it here. There's partition walls inside of this trap contraption. Uh, you and I can see right away this is going to be problematic. The design includes multiple cleanouts, but <laughs> let's just not go there. Prohibited trap number five, the S trap. This one is one of the more common ones out there. The problem with this is that there is no vent. As the fixture is draining, the fluid gains momentum. It's moving through and gets siphoned out of the trap. You know this is happening at a sink or a fixture when you hear a glug, 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 similar to a toilet. The difference here is that this doesn't refill itself as a toilet does. These were common in houses built prior to 1970. Interesting side note here, this S-Trap kit is available on the shelf at a local hardware store for purchase right now, and it's against code. But this brings up an important point. You can purchase things that are not allowed by code from some of your local hardware stores or even suppliers. So it's kind of important to know what is allowed and what is not allowed and stick with what is. And finally, prohibited trap number six. This is the drum trap. A drum trap is basically a cast iron can. The fluid comes in one side. You create the trap by the way the 90s are formed on the outlet of the drum. These things are notorious for clogging. They were installed for decades. Again, probably prior to 1970s, where you're gonna see these in older homes. Mm -hmm.